Welcome to Underworld Classroom uh, in an article on the website The Spirit of Matt by Cal Garrison is discuss Neptune and Pisces and the post-2012 paradigm and the astrology of the 2012 and beyond. And this gets into the astrological uh, forecasting, but it's, it's an interesting article nonetheless and it's information. And basically what Cal goes into is um, she explains what uh, Neptune represents uh, as astrologically and representing energies of things that we may either want to balance or purge ourselves of, such as drugs, poisons, noxious vapors, gases, perversion, cheating, uh, victimhood, um, suffering, self-pity, in, in, uh, curable illnesses, uh, addiction, all these types of things. Um, and some of these energies may just be things we want to balance. Um, however, she speaks of the great purification as being something um, that the Hopis forecasted, but also that we can um, take upon ourselves and purify our own energies with. So it, it's, it's information. And she goes on to say uh, what I found very interesting in here. She talks about pole reversal. And astrologically uh, speaking, she talks about this uh, energy of Uranus square Pluto. And she says here, to help you understand why I have singled it out, um, a few analogies may be in order. The Uranus-Pluto uh, combination is one I have always compared to pouring gasoline on a bonfire. The astrological recipe for the ultimate Molotov cocktail, it blows everything to bits. And what she suggests is, you know, blow the dark energy within yourself to bits, um, before and and it will lessen the impact of a pole shift possibly um, that's what I got out of it in other words what Gandhi said if you want change be the change she says Uranus squares Pluto on the following dates uh, June 6 2012 through October 13 2012 April 26 2013 through June 11 2013 September 28 2013 through November 24 2013 and March 26 2014 through May 20th, 2014. Um, basically, this is not saying these are the dates when the pole is going to shift or this or that. She's just saying here that there's a likelihood that if there were to be a pole shift, uh, these dates would, um, as an astrologer, this is what she would forecast. She said this would be a two-year process and it would have a cataclysmic aspect and the poles could shift on any of those dates or in between basically from 2012 to 2014. What's interesting in this article beyond that is the Hopi, um, the Hopi legend here um, speaks of the um, these stone tablets called the Taiponi. Uh, it's the symbol of power and authority over all the land and life to guard, protect, and hold in trust until um, the day that the um, this particular uh, force comes back, which is from the stars, and White Feather sums it up very well. I'll, re I'll read the shorter passage. You could read this. I'll put the link in the uh, description for you. And White Feather says here, um, "My people await the Pahana, the lost white brother from the stars." As do all our brothers in the land, he will not be like the white men we know now who are cruel and greedy. We are told of their coming long ago, but still we await Pahana. He will bring with him the symbols and the meaning piece and the missing piece of that sacred tablet now kept by the elders given to him when he left that shall identify him as our true white brother. Many of my people understanding the prophecy shall be safe. Those who stay and live in the places of my people also shall be safe. Then there will be much to rebuild, and very soon, very soon afterward, Pahana will return. He shall bring with him the dawn of the fifth world. He shall plant the seeds of his wisdom in their hearts. Even now the seeds are being planted. These shall soothe the way to the emergence into the fifth world. Quote by Frank Waters from the Book of Hopi. I will put the link to this article in the description. It's an interesting article to read. Thanks a lot for watching at Underworld Classroom.